places like Yemen and along with Syria and Iraq, they're attracting thousands of people from around the globe to join groups like ISIL and al-Qaeda. CCTV's Nathan King has more on a new United Nations report on the alarming number of foreign fighters. Caught on camera, three British schoolgirls leave the United Kingdom and head to Syria to join ISIL. So-called Jihadi John also travels to Syria from the UK to become an ISIL executioner. But according to the United Nations, there's been a steady stream of foreign fighters from at least 100 countries, lured by slick recruitment videos and online chat rooms. There are now 22,000 foreign fighters in Iraq and Syria, the UN reportedly says, 6,500 in Afghanistan, and hundreds more in Yemen, Libya, Pakistan and Somalia. According to the news agency Reuters, the number of foreign fighters has jumped 70% in the last year. The report stems from a 2014 United Nations Security Council session headed by US President Barack Obama and other world leaders. They passed a resolution compelling countries to make it a criminal offence to travel abroad to fight with groups like ISIL. But the terrorism continues. Nearly 150 people died on Thursday when Somali-based al-Shabaab gunmen opened fire at a university in Kenya. And a day earlier, ISIL militants attacked a Palestinian refugee camp in Syria. And the UN study reportedly warns if there are more military victories against ISIL, such as the liberation of the city of Tikrit, it could scatter hundreds of well-trained fighters across the world. The influx of extremists is also calling into question the Western response to militant Islam. Just a few months ago, US President Barack Obama highlighted Yemen and Somalia as success stories in the fight against terrorism. But some former government officials say an over-reliance on drone strikes and targeted killings may not be enough. I think it's reflective of a fundamental failing in what is called the counterterrorism approach. That approach, which involves killing people who are or may be direct threats to national security, does not look at the broader society in which things take place. The United States and other countries are trying to counter groups like ISIL and stop radical recruitment in their own countries. But as yet, they have failed to stop the lure of jihadist networks and their slick online marketing campaigns around the world. Nathan King, CCTV, Washington.